morning everybody, Paul Yeoman here, and uh, I wanted to show you guys the importance of warming up with a foam roller, if you can see me there. Okay, um, especially on my leg days I like to use the foam roller, it's great for working out the lactic acid and breaking up some fascia buildup, and it definitely helps with getting the blood into the muscle and warming up. That's why I like to use the foam roller a lot uh, before any of my lifts really, but I find it more important on my leg days and back days. Um, today's leg day, I'm going to be using this foam roller, I'll show you every which way um, to get yourself loose and work everything out and get the blood into the muscle. And then I go and walk about 20 minutes on a treadmill, but I won't film that, that's really boring. But I start out, I put my knees right on the foam roller like this. Then I roll my quads out, just like that. And I go about five times. So this is two, three, and that's five. Okay, so I get my quads that way. Okay, it's not going to feel good at first if you're not used to it, especially with a tough foam roller. This one's a pretty firm one. And now I like to get my IT bands right here on the side, okay? So I'm going to give you guys a nice butt view, okay? I'm going to start right here, and then roll the side of my leg all the way up to my hip, and then all the way to the knee. Just like that. Do that about five times. Just like that. Then I switch over to the other side. Yep. Okay, so now I got my quads, my T bands. Now I want to do my groin right in the inside here. So I have my foam roller and I'll put my leg off to the side, the rolling out leg on the foam roller here, starting at the knee. And then I roll all the way up to the ball sack. Just like that. This one gives you one hell of a stretch. And do about five rolls there and then pass it off to the other leg and you want to do five rolls on this leg that's about five okay then from there I like to roll my upper mid lower back out then I'll work out on the glutes and then the hamstrings and calves. So start with my upper back. Okay. Oh, she's rolling away. Put my hood up. Okay. Just roll just like this up to your traps and your neck. And then back. And then I go to about mid back right here. And then back down. Just a couple rolls like this. This one's my favorite. I have a lot of fascia buildup and knots in my back, especially from doing heavy squats, heavy deadlifts. Really, really beats up on my back. Let's do that a couple times. I roll it down to my lumbar area. Oh, and you want to go right to the top of the pelvis, just like that. Then just roll down and back. Just like that. Do that a couple times. Now I'll put this foam roller right above my butt or under my butt. Sit on it. And if my glutes are tight, usually I just roll my butt out on it like this. As weird as this sounds. It works wonders. Okay, do that a couple times. 
And then for the hamstrings, okay, start right at the bottom of the butt, and then you want to roll it right to your knees. Now I'm at 90 degrees, just like that. So now I'm stretching my hamstrings, my lower back, and rolling my hamstrings out all at once, okay? Do that a couple times, and then put it down by the calves, and then just roll your calves out, just like that. Okay. Now that pretty much just hit my entire posterior chain. Um, if you want to get into the shoulders and everything, I do use the foam roller for shoulders, uh, but I also use a lacrosse ball um, to get like my bicep tendon, my delts and everything. But if you only have a foam roller, you can lay down like this, roll your pack, your shoulder out on it, bunch of different ways just got to be creative but this is how you use the foam roller this is how you warm up with it I recommend you do it gets the blood into the muscle breaks up fascia moves the lactic acid around okay wakes you up feels good it's kind of like poor man's massage is what we call it here at the basement so that's it that's my tips with the foam roller and hope it helps fellas and ladies